Hey everyone, welcome to Push Corp. I'm Isaiah Flora. I'm a robotics application engineer and abrasive specialist. We got another video for you out of our demo lab. This one's a fun one. We are cleaning up welds on ATV racks. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go through all the major components we used on this project. If you wanna skip all that and head straight to the application video, just hit that chapter below. This project was brought in by KC Robotics. They're a certified integrator based out of Ohio. We've worked with them before on many material removal projects, so they're very familiar with push corp equipment. They offer many other robotic solutions, such as welding and material handling. We link their website and YouTube in the description below, so check them out. Our part in this application is a carbon steel ATV rack with the goal of removing the smaller weld spatter as well as any other unwanted inclusions from the welding process. The abrasive we used in this application was 3M's radial bristle brush. We used a 6 inch diameter and stacked it up on the tool holder to about 1 inch. We attached the bristle brush to a Pushcorp BT30 tool holder. Pushcorp makes a variety of tool holders but we didn't have one for this specific stack up height of bristle so I had to 3D print some spacers which you can see in black. As the end user moves forward with the project, Push Corp's in-house engineering team can create a BT tool holder that fits their exact dimensions needed. The ideal spindle for this application is a Push Corp STC 0605 BT30 spindle. With a max RPM of 6,000 and 5 horsepower, this spindle pairs well with the high torque created by the bristle. Depending on the end user's preferences, an SM0605 could be a good option as well. It has that same RPM and horsepower as the spindle we used, it just doesn't have the automatic tool changing feature. If the end user preferred the SM version, they would just have to have an operator manually change out the abrasive. But the advantages they gain is a smaller profile and smaller weight of spindle that they're putting on the end of the robot. All right, so we chose our abrasive, we put it on a tool holder, we put that with our spindle. Now the only thing in between this package and the robot is gonna be this AFD310 compliance device. This device allows you to apply a constant and consistent force with your abrasive onto your part. It compensates for gravity and the weight of your tool no matter the orientation that you put the spindle in. The compliance device has a sliding carriage, which you can see as long as you're within those two check marks, you know that you are applying whatever force you commanded the tool. All right, let's put this all together and check out this application video. As you're watching, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Let's check it out. Welcome back. Want to see your parts being worked on in the demo lab? Check out our contact info below. Call us today, email us today. We'd love to discuss it with you. Please like and subscribe so you can see all the fresh applications coming through the demo lab. And lastly, if you're looking for something specific, check out our playlist, which we have sorted by application type. 
That's all we have today. We'll see you next time.